Hello, today is the 31st of October 2017. My name is Jeff Barkler. In today's video, I will show Alliance Lawlessness Form 3B Violations of Law. Alliance themselves and Work Cover WA and the Honourable Lil Jana Ravlich and Western Australian Attorney General Michael Minchkin all advise in writing words to the effect of when an insurer disputes liability for a workers comp compensation claim the insurer is required by law to issue a regulations form 3b insurers notice that liability is disputed work cover wa and courts overrule laws and yet work cover wa and the wa courts fail to uphold the written laws and then make their own laws protecting alliance. Slide 2 is a letter from alliance Mr Sean O'Reilly dated the 7th of August 2012 and I quote In answer to your specific question if an insurer disputes liability for a claim the insurer is required to issue a notice pursuant to section 57A 3B the next slide is an email from Work Cover WA Trish Pierce dated the 16th of August 2013 and I quote In response to your request for assistance in identifying the regulated form an insurer is required to issue to a worker where the insurer makes a decision to dispute liability for a worker's compensation claim you are referred to 1. Section 57 a3b of the Workers' Compensation Injury Management Act 1981 and point 3, Form 3b. The fourth slide is a copy of the Hansard dated the 27th of June 2013 and I quote the Honourable Liljana Ravlich, Legislative Council, at point 2. Given that the insurer is required to issue a notice pursuant to section 57a3b of the Act and has failed to do so. What action has been taken by date by work cover WA in respect of this matter? End quote. The next slide is a copy of the Hansard dated the 13th of August 2013. The then Attorney General Michael Minchkin and I quote When an insurer disputes liability for a workers' compensation claim under the Workers' Compensation Injury Management Act 1981, they are required to issue a Form 3B. Insurers notice that liability is disputed. I note the Attorney General said, no, I'm advised that Mr Barkley's insurer was not required to issue a Form 3B in relation to his claim, end quote. Well, why does the law discriminate against Jeff Barkler? It cannot and it does not and the Attorney General and Work Cover CEO Michelle Reynolds has refused to answer these relevant questions on many occasions. Moving to slide 6, this is a copy of the Hansard dated the 5th of December 2013 and I quote the Honourable Liberal Jana Ravlich Legislative Council at point 3. Is it acceptable to the Minister that the insurer alliance failed to comply with the act and regulations in relation relation to Mr. Barclay's claim by disputing liability without issuing the regulations form 3B and that work cover WA has failed to ensure compliance by the insurer with the act and regulations. Slide 7 is a work cover sealed copy of a directions hearing where arbitrator Sam Nunn agrees that the insurer is required to issue a Form 3B as a statement of law, yet dismiss my case, hashtag fraud. Slide 8 and 9 is a letter from Alliance lawyer Mr Mark Civitella, dated the 23rd of March 2012, and I quote under point 1, it is not disputed that a Form 3B notice has never been issued. Further down you will see, as discussed by telephone today, no Form 3B was issued. 
Further down underneath point two, you will notice the issue in dispute is what the Act requires under section 57A as a matter of law. Folks, none of these quotes are my words. So on the facts before you, how can work cover rule against itself? And how can the courts rule against the laws? As stated by the awesome foursome, alliance themselves, work cover themselves, the Honourable Lil Jana Ravlich and the Attorney General. Justice Pullen and Justice Murphy of the Supreme Court Western Australia ruled against me and the fact that Alliance admitted in writing by law that the insurer is required to issue a Form 3B hashtag cover up of Alliance violations of law. I fear for my safety as Alliance and others are not going to like being exposed for their corruption. Now I have the AFP agent Daryl Edwards calling me asking me to see a psychiatrist because he is concerned about my health yet refuses to reply to any of my letters and emails. Please check out my other videos and share with family and friends and thank you for watching.